Hi friends! While I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, hashtag live or hashtag replay, depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture, or you may have heard about Chalk Couture, but you're not currently working with the designer, because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. I can't forget the day we met your eyes. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday, friends. So let's jump into our live today. Let's talk all about Club Couture, you guys. Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there. It's $19.99 plus tax in the U.S. and $26.99 plus tax in Canada. Free shipping on your monthly club transfer every single month. Now, what's included in it? You'll get a size B transfer similar to the one that you see in the picture and three coordinating chalk piece singles. The one you're looking at is our June Club Couture transfer called Shine. It says nothing can dim the light that shines from within. And it's a quote from Maya Angelou and it's gorgeous. Along with Bumblebee, Daffodil and Irish chalk piece singles. Now, What's so awesome about, about Club Couture, you may ask? Well, number one, once you join Club Couture under me, you will go into my private Club Couture group where I make three additional projects without fail every single month to give you the most bang for your buck. The next awesome thing about Club Couture is you get bonus flat rate shipping every single month. So all of my customers currently receive $6.95 in the US and $13.95 in Canada flat rate shipping on your entire orders. As a Club Couture customer though, you'll receive bonus flat rate shipping of $4.95 in the US and $9.95 in Canada. The next awesome thing is you will have access to special sales each month from Chalk Couture. This month is around our June, I'm sorry, our summer creative kickstart and I'll go into further details with you on that in just a second. Now, you want to get your hands on this awesome transfer? Well, you have to be a part of the club. So what you'll have to do is go in and sign up under me for Club Couture. Once you do that and you add Club Couture into your cart, you'll then be prompted to say, hey, do you want to add our current month's Club Couture into your cart that you could take home right away? Because typically when you join in June, you would not get your transfer and your subscription will not begin until July. But you can add in while supplies last. You will also have the ability to add in our Kickstarter kit. And the Kickstarter kit is absolutely amazing. It helps you to continue designing month in, month out, it comes with a 9x12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a three-ounce bright white chalk piece, a multi-tool, and 
uh, a five and a half by seven and a half palette sign. Now, if you need all of those details sent over to you, just comment club down below and I'll be sure to get them to you. Okay. Uh, next let's talk about the summer, um, creative kickstart that I was telling you guys about. So we have two different ones that you can choose from. Our first one is the Lift Where You Stand bundle, okay? It comes with the size B Lift Where You Stand transfer, the 10-inch gold frame uh, white chalkboard surface that's reusable, marvelous and shimmer gold chalk paste singles, and a small squeegee. Now, this value is at $39.85 US, $53.69 in, Can in Canada. But you can take this bundle home for only $34.99 in the US and $46.99 in Canada. And hey, remember... I was telling you guys that you get special privileges when you become a Chalk Couture customer. Well, we're going to tell you that you get to take this home for only $29.99 in the U.S. and $39.99 in Canada. Now, we still have another one, okay? It's an exclusive size D transfer that's called The Good Gets Better. It is 18 by 18, and it's uh, $29.99 in the U.S., $39.99 in Canada, but my Club Couture customers can go ahead and take it home for $24.99 in the U.S. and $33.99 in Canada. Now, if you'd like to get all of those details sent over to you, just say Creative Kickstart down below and I'll be sure to message them to you, okay? Now, last but certainly not least, let's talk about the opportunity to purchase your business in a box and join my team. This is our new designer kit, aka Business in a Box, and it is amazing. It's only $99 plus tax and shipping in the U.S., uh, 129 plus tax and shipping in Canada. It's valued at just about 250 in the U.S. and just about 350 in Canada. It's going to come with five three-ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12-pack of thank you cards, a 12-pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, a 9 by 12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, the Read Me, our gorgeous spring summer catalog, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers, and you remember that June Club Couture shine? You'll also get that. Now. You might be saying to yourself, Jess, that's a whole lot of info you threw out at me, and I've got a ton of questions, girl. Well, no worries. I have your answers. All you need to do is comment join down below, and I'll message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team, because I want it to be a, a decision that you're super happy with. Now, I'm going to get my cameras all ready, but in the meantime, I have a little something on my screen for all our new friends who are just learning about Chalk Couture. So hi, Iris. Hi, Gail. Hi, Sage. Hi, Karen. Hi, Penny. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Timmy. Hey, Melinda. No replay, Melinda. You got me live. Hi, Lisa Batten. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Maxine from Albuquerque. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Susan. Hi, Haley Ann. Hi, Jen Jones. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tina. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Karen. Hello, Leanne. Happy Wednesday. Hi, Roberta. Club. Melinda, you got it. I will message you all those details as soon as my live's over. Hi, Sharon. So how are you guys? Happy. What is it? It's Wednesday, right? How is my strap so messed up here? Do I, does someone need to dress me? <laughs> um, it is a hot day in New Jersey today. You guys is all I'm going to tell you. Crazy hot. 93 is supposed to be our high. Poor Brig Brand is out working in this. Oh, he's out throwing today and that I feel bad for him. Breaks my heart. So, hi, Maxine. Maxine Gonzalez, you got it, girl. I will message you as soon as this live is over. And if you are not already in my VIP group, Maxine, I'm going to send you the link to that as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's create. So it's pillow week. It's super awesome. Now, I'm going to tell you, the pillow that I'm making today is similar, okay? The theme is similar to what's in my special bundle box, okay? So if you have not already gotten the details, it is the same bundle box I launched on Monday. It'll be the same all week or while supplies last. Um, comment box down below and my mess my uh, little bot will message you all of the details, the price, what's included, how do you order, everything, okay? So I'm gonna leave that up there for just a second. Now, today I'm gonna be using some muslin and I'm gonna be using some paint and we're gonna use some burlap and some polyfill um and we're gonna make ourselves a cute little pillow to put inside a camper maybe i was thinking if we did like a camping theme um in like a two-tiered camping theme tray or a summer theme tray vacation theme tray we've got lots of different trays we could use with this okay so um let's go ahead and let's get some muslin cut here 
Alrighty. I'm going to cut a bigger piece because like I said, we are going to be doing some painting as well because I don't have any fabric that matches what I plan to do to coordinate. So we're, we're just going to stick that all off to the side for right now. So we're going to cut out a piece that's a little bit bigger so that way I can get it painted. Okay. Now, where is my little mini ink mat? You guys, I'm sorry. The ink mats got delayed again. They're coming back next week. I know, I know. And believe me, chalk knows. Unfortunately, we can't help when it gets to customs. It gets stuck there and we are at their mercy. And, you know, with everything going on in the world, I can totally understand. I'm frustrated by it, but I understand for sure. Okay. So here's, oh my gosh, Lollapalooza is canceled. Holy cow. That just came up on my Alexa. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So hi, Anita. Hi, Carol. You're watching me and Sarah. Are we both live at the same time? Good Lord. Hey, Dion. You're in the 90s too. Oh my gosh. Hi, Janet. Yes, Wednesday. Did I say Thursday? Whoopsie. Sometimes I do that. I did not realize Sarah was on too. What? I'm... I try not to do that. I try not to go on when other designers are on. I really do. But I'm a little late today because Little Brand had to get today, they had to turn back in their textbooks and library books and all that stuff and clean out their lockers. And we have set time because of social distancing, obviously. So his time was between 1.20 and 1.30. Um, so we had to do that. Um, so I, you know, it was right in the middle of my time. But you know what? Hey, I'm, I want to keep my, my kids teacher safe. I'm going to keep my kiddo safe. So I abide by the rules. So there's that. So if it messes with my live, it is what it is, right? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, do I want to do, are we RV there yet above or yeah, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it right all across the same area here. Okay. So I'm, oops, that's way crooked. Not like it really matters because I'm going to be cutting it out, but all right, so we are going to be doing this in two different colors. I'm going to do meadow ink and black velvet ink. Now, the other thing you must have when doing this is you must have some fabric tack because I'm not a sewer. So you just did one with that tracer. How fun is that, Anita? Um, I don't sew. So guess what? We, we don't do that. We don't play that game. So Jess uses what, um, what I can. It's that simple. Now I'm literally using, I have like the littlest bit of black velvet in here and I just couldn't toss it until I used it all. So I'm going to just use the rest of the black velvet and then we're going to do, we're going to do that for the RV there yet. And then we're going to do our cute little RV in meadow. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's get this going. Now I am using ink because what if I decide that I want to have this out back in like a tiered tray on my cute little table, right? Like maybe that's going to be my theme. Maybe I'm going to do a summer theme tiered tray. I don't know. It's whatever hits me. I like to make tiered trays for all types of stuff, you know? So there's that. Now, when I am inking, I like to either go top to bottom or bottom to top. I do not like to go side to side. And the reason for that is because if I have a bubble, I don't want to have to worry about um, the bleed. I don't want it to be as bad. And I found that when I go side to side, if there is a bubble, um, it makes it worse. Okay. Like a it, it makes the bleed worse. All right. So we're going to just keep that just like that. Now let's come in with our meadow. And we're, wait, I already took out, I was going to say, I know I already took two squeegees out. And we're going to do our little, cute little Winnebago or RV, whatever we want to call it. And I'm going to try to be uber careful. I was going to try and be fancy with it and do two different colors, but we're not going to mess with that today. We're going to just do it all the same color. It's no big deal, right? I just want to make sure I don't bring any black ink into this. Speaking of black, our house painter just did the whole front of the house. All the trim is now black. 
And we are doing, and this is why I'm doing green, is because we're painting the house. It's not this green, though. It's a darker green. It's more like an, it's, honestly, it's more like, uh, it's a little deeper than pesto, I think. Um, but either way, I'm just so excited, and I figured this would be cute and it would match it. Hence, hence why I'm doing these colors. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is make sure I have no ink on my fingers, and I don't appear to have any. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel this back. Now, you never want to peel from the corner. You want to peel from the center, whether it's the top or bottom of the center. Okay, oops. And hold on. Let's come on back here because I definitely see where I missed some spots with the, the black. That's why you want to take your time peeling. So that way, if you miss anything, what's going on with that R? There it goes. So that way, if you miss any, you can come back and go over it. Oh gosh, hold on. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to just stick this onto my little carrier sheet since it's such a tiny guy. Now, I don't want to not get this cleaned ASAP, so the second I'm done my live, I'm going to go clean it, okay? Painting the house. I thought it's gray and black. No, my house is, um, my house is, uh, white and, it was white and blue. And we started doing the, the porch in black, Iris. But wait till you see. Wait until you see. Let's see. Hi, Kelly DeVitt. How are you? Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and let's close up our inks. So that way we don't spread it anywhere. And then we're going to get out a fun pink color. Well, let's try this first. And then we'll get out a pink color. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of green on there. Ooh, geez. I will just stick it here so I don't get it anywhere. Okay. You guys, I have a cute little bundle. Also, another little bundle box. That is not a pillow box, but it's an ink box that I'll be releasing tomorrow in conjunction with this because it's so perfect for summer and I can't take it. And I love it and I think it's adorable. So there's that. So I'm just drying it. I'm using my heat tool. You guys can use a hair dryer. You can use anything you need. Hi, Mary Beth. We're going to just get that to the side now. Okay, we're good now. So let's go ahead now and we're going to just cut it, just a quick cut. And then we're going to, we are going to actually trim this around. But for right now, I just want to get it cut apart. So that way I can paint this piece of muslin. Because I don't know if you guys know or you saw before, but... You can, um, you can paint, you can paint fabric. So that's what we're going to do next. So I just want to find, we're going to do this green. We are going to do, what is this called? Spanish moss. I've painted something this color before. I just don't, oh, um, oh, uh, my fab, my banner, my hanging banner. Now, the only thing is, is you have to have your fabric wet, not running it under the sink wet, okay? But you need it wet. And we need a little tray here to squeeze some paste, in, or to squeeze some ink into, and we're going to need a paintbrush. Hey, Denise. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Elizabeth. 
Okay. Oh, what happened here? We don't, I don't think we're going to need much. Plus, I'm going to water this down just a little bit. Where's the water? Here it is. There we go. I'm going to stir stick. Okay. So who loves tear trays? Because this little pillow is perfect for a tear tray. If you like tear tray decor, throw me some hearts. Okay. Now this is just regular old um, chalk paint. That's all it is. Okay. Brush. Where are you, brush? Here it goes. Now, hopefully, I usually like to use the bristle brushes with these, not the foam brush, but we're going to see what happens. I can tell you that when you wet your fabric, the, paint, the ink spreads so much better. The paint, not the ink. I meant to say the paint. And a bristle brush works way better. Do not waste your time with a foam brush. It sucks up the paint. I knew that. I don't know why I was doing this. There we go. Oh my gosh, so much better. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I just need a little bit of this to... Um, I need a little bit of this just to be the base part of my little RV, okay? Yes, I'm going to take the paint off of my stir stick because I want a little bit of excess fabric showing around, so... That little bit was perfect. Okay. A little bit more. We are going to be all done. Okay, so you see how we got that done? How cute. All right, now let's put this and this to the side. We'll wash it with our other stuff that we got to wash. Okay. Let's see. Hi, Denise. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Elizabeth. It's hard to find paint anywhere. Everyone is out of it. I get it all on Amazon, Leanne. There you go. HL does. Yeah, Trace, I just go, I got all of this online. I got it through Amazon. Okay, hold on. All right, so let's try this now. Oh, I haven't gone to any of those stores except for Target because it sells food, so I'm able to go there. But, um,. No, Michaels, they're not open yet. They do curbside, but I like I want to be able to see what I'm purchasing. The only thing I got from Michaels online was the ribbon for all my patriotic decor. And this dries relatively quickly, you guys. Hi, hey, Cindy. So we're going to let that off to the side now and let's come back out and let's get our scissors and now we're going to start cutting. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around. Um, I'm going to leave a small offset around, oops, around everything. Hey, dude. And save those scraps because you could tie them into bows, you guys. 
Hold on, I'm just going to get some of the excess off here. I don't get rid of these long pieces. Okay. Hey, Bubba. Okay. You got it. I'll be here working. Is the, the lawn people here for us or for next door? You can't tell either? I can't tell if it sounds... I just am worried they're going to move the painter stuff and I didn't tell them. Okay. Right, Leanne? Oh, that's so funny, Trish. Just trying to cut a cute little offset around my little RV here. <coughs> and these scissors are seriously not all that wonderful, so it's a little hard to do so. Okay, so we've got that done. <coughs> now, oop, that's still a little wet. Hold on. Oh my gosh, my allergies are killing me, you guys. Guzzling woulda. Yeah, now that they got, so we had our house power washed yesterday, right? Because they needed to do that before they could start doing the painting and it oh there's pollen everywhere all over the the deck it's crazy it just shot it all up everywhere i'm like oh my gosh crazy town there we go that's better okay so what i want to do is Put this little cutie right about here, right? So I need my polyfill. Hold on one second. I didn't have the room to bring it over. Give me one sec. Let me go run and grab it. gigantic bag of polyfill and I just take what I need out of it okay Let me get this out of the way I do too okay so what I'm gonna do is this still wet no okay I'm gonna go ahead and use my fabric tack now okay and we're going to do a portion of this. I'll probably leave this area open, but everything else, I'm going to go ahead and use a fabric tack and glue it down. And I want to go as close to the edge as I can. You do not want to put any in the center because you're going to put the filling in. Okay, you want to stick as close to the edge as possible. And I just inadvertently got some around, not meaning to, of course. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and just push it down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push outwards, okay? I don't mind if the, ink, um, the fabric tack goes outside. I don't want it to go inside where it will affect me stuff stuffing the pillow, Whoopsie. See how I'm just pushing towards the outside of it? And I'm just going to let it dry for a sec. Okay, let the fabric tack dry for a sec. 
Hi, Rach. Hi, Mary. Hi, Jody. How are you? Hi, Pam Tobar, watching from California on YouTube. Hello. Okay, just giving it a sec. And then you see all these fun little strings? We're going to pull some because it's going to look adorable then. And we could absolutely, totally dirty this up if we would like to. We don't have to. Get some little frays up in here. Some of them we're going to have to just cut because they get a little messy. What the heck was that? Oh, my paste scraper just went flying. Okay, some of them get a little too much for me. All right, so I think it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty good to be dry. So now, before I go stuff, mm, now nah, let's stuff it first. Say so before I go stuffing it, let's cut it, but we're not. So this is just polyfill. You see this? It just is little pillow stuffings. I'm great, Jody. How are you? Happy Wednesday. I don't know why I was thinking it was Thursday. Wishful thinking, I suppose. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and this is where using your multi-tool truly comes in handy. I'm just going to stuff it up into the corner. And you don't need much of this at all. Seriously. Tanya, always calling me when I'm live. Always. She'll jump on in a second and say, sorry. That's what she always does. <laughs> oh. Okay. I think that's pretty well stuffed. And see, I hardly used any. So I'm going to go with that's, that's looking pretty good. This is trash. Hold on. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way so we have some room to move about. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put the fabric tack on the muslin. It's a little hard to, to show you this on camera because I can't see. So I'm, and if I can't see, you guys aren't going to see. I have to hold it a certain way to be able to see. But it's going to be so cute. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to push it down and I'm going to hold it here for just a few seconds because I want to make sure that it stays sealed because I don't want the stuffing to come out of my cute little pillow. I'll tell you something though, this is going to be the cutest little thing ever. Cutest little pillow ever. Oh, how fun, Jody! Oh, Tanya, I'm live. I know it was you. I could see your name. Right? Either Tanya or some sort of alert. Always Tanya. Whenever the phone rings, it's always Tanya. I love you, Tanya. You know that. I'm only busting your chops. Because I love you. Okay. So, I think that's glued down pretty well. So now, oh my gosh, I have like stuffing on here. So let's close up the fabric tack for just a sec. Well, now nah, we're not going to close it tight because we still need to use it. Okay. Hi, Dina. All right. So now the reason why we painted our fabric is because I wanted to have another little offset of another color. And this time I'm going to try and make it a little bit bigger so you can see it sticking out. Okay. I'm just going to cut a little more so that way it's easier for me to cut long ways. Uh-oh, I hear someone yelling outside. 
don't know what that's about. Okay, did that get glued? Yep, it's glued. Okay, all right, so let's come in. Let's continue on with our little pattern here. Little offset going around. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. It's made to be cute. So, and like I said, if you're digging doing this, you're really going to love my bundle box this week. Totally got to check it out. Oh my gosh, I love this. Love, love, love it. Up the painter, I hear him. I hear him climbing up the chair, this, the ladder. Funny story. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing, but funny. So I was like talking all this morning to some of my team members and I was like, ah, oh. like everything just caught me off guard. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm wearing a romper and I have to hurry up and go to the bathroom. I had to, you know, I drank a bajillion cups of water and everything else. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to pee in my pants. So I hurry up and run into the bathroom that's on the main floor and not even thinking that the painter's taping off all the windows. And I'm like, you can't see, like it's higher, like it's a good eight feet up off, off the ground, the, the window, right? Like to look in maybe, yeah, about eight feet. Wasn't the flipping blinds open in the bathroom because whoever would look in there and he's there taping off and I'm got my romper down trying to go to the bathroom. Embarrassing fact for Jess. Embarrassing story. There we go. Oh, thanks, Dana. I know, right, Carolyn? Hi, Jenny's. Hi, Terry. It's okay, Tanya. I love you. Hi, Casey. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Mary Beth. Isn't it adorable, you guys? Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Sherry. Okay, so now... We're going to cut some burlap. Remember, save all these scraps, you guys. Save it all. I'm going to do probably just a straight bit of an area. Just like so. And this will also have an offset. Okay. Get that off to the side. Now we're going to use the fabric tack for the last time. And we're going to glue this onto the burlap and then we'll cut out a little shape of the burlap. And there we go. Thanks, Sherry. Okay. So I love, I'm telling you, you guys, if you do not use fabric tack, you are missing out. Now for this part, I am definitely going to go all along the edges and through the middle because I'm not doing any more stuffing the stuffing was just for the um the pillow part for the rv right here though i want this to stick well because like i said this could be an outdoor tier tray piece on my back deck okay Oy! Oh, your hands get so sticky touching this. That is the only negative. If you have texture sensitivities, oh, you might not like the way this feels. I'm just saying. Like, I know little Bram would never be able to touch this stuff. Never. He does not like his fingers to be messy at all. Isn't it so cute? Hi, Michelle. Thanks, Patty. Right, Tracy? Oh my gosh, it will be adorable. It will be so cute. You need to have this transfer. You're so right. Okay, so let's just cut along here. 
Once again, don't get rid of your strips. Okay, I try to keep all of mine because I'll use it into a bow in the future. And look, they're like perfect strips. See? All right, and then we're going to do, like I said, another little offset. And then our little pillow is going to be done, you guys. And like I said, if you like this, you will like my bundle box this week. Because this is what it's about. It's about something to do with this. So if you want, comment box down below and you'll get all the details messaged over to you from my bot. It'll have a picture of the project. It'll have the price, what's included. And then if you want it, you just say yes and it'll take you right to checkout. So that seriously does not get any easier than that. If you don't want it, you just say no thank you. It's that simple. It is that simple, my friends. But this little cutie will be ready for a tear tray or to go if you have a cute little like basket or maybe a fun bowl. Like you guys know I love my Ray, my big Ray ceramic bowls. And if I had one that was like camping themed, holy cow, step back. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I am going to take some of the frays up here and fray it around. You see it? There we go. Whoops, I went a little too crazy there. too much there too but that's okay it'll still be cute there we go oopsie don't you just love it oh my gosh it's so cute I can't take it all freed and fun like and then we got our little pillow how fun okay these little pieces though I am gonna trash just because I let's be real I can't keep all of that okay but look at this here is our fun little pillow that we just made with our RV there yet transfer and we will put it inside a tiered tray. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. It'll be adorable. Oh my goodness. Or even a little pillow for your RV if you have one. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> Tracy, it's too funny. There you go, you guys. Hi, Debbie Green. I love that transfer. Just have to have it because my daughter got a fifth wheel. Oh, nice. Jody, oh, my God. You'll have so much fun making stuff for it. Hi, Brooke Leonard. Do you say you will have a new box offer tomorrow? I am, Mary Beth. I am. And it's a fun one. It's an ink one. Not pillows, but summer themed. I, I you'll, You got to trust me. You're going to love it. Right, Carolyn? Thanks, Dion. Thanks, Roberta. Thanks, Sherry. Hi, Rhonda. What are you doing, Rhonda? How are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, so that's it, you guys. That's my project for today. I, I seriously don't think it gets any easier than that. If you're interested in my box that I have for this week, my bundle box, just comment box down below. If you're on Facebook, it, my bot will send you all the details, a picture, a link of what's in it, um, the link to purchase it, or the link to say, no, thank you. I just wanted to see what it was. Um, if you have any questions at all, just let me know. Comment them down below. If you would like to go into my VIP group um, and you're not a Chalk Couture designer, just comment me down below. I'll message you that link. If you want to get the details on joining my team and purchasing your business in a box, um, comment join down below for my opportunity group where you'll hear, have a video that goes over all the details for you. And some of you have already commented. I know it was Melinda and 
someone else had commented box. I'll go through the comments. I'll get you those details as soon as I end this. But that's it. That's what I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my project. I thank you so much for joining me. Um, if it's you're in, you know, if you're having a super hot day today, please be safe. Um, don't overdo it. Um, but I'll be back tomorrow with another super fun project. So I will talk to you guys all later. Have a great day. Okay. Bye you guys.